Hello and welcome to another video and we are back with another one from the Bodybuilder Try series. I'm the Bodybuilder, obviously. Today I'm going to be trying Olympic weightlifting. Now we've come to Europa Gym which despite the controversial exterior is apparently one of the best weightlifting gyms in the country. We're about to be joined by Sarah Davis who is a GB Olympic weightlifter. She literally just got back from the Olympics in Tokyo on an absolute mad one. She's f***ing strong, like I'm fairly sure she's going to be considerably stronger than me in these lifts which is going to be humbling. But that's what these videos are all about, right? Just me being embarrassed for like two hours. We are in the gym. Right, so firstly, Sarah, absolute hero. Um, some of these videos, I just do them with kind of like abstract people. Sarah is like legit, like in terms of a little bit, she is at the top of the field, so like, like your video, yeah? Just to, just like, some people don't have an understanding of this, like Olympic lifting, just quickly outline what Olympic lifting entails. In competition, it's made for two lifts, so you've got snatch, which is straight from floor to overhead, and then you've got clean and jerk, which is the one that everyone kind of recognises, which is to the shoulders first, and then from shoulders to overhead. And like in competition, the winner is decided basically by the, the two lifts combined, so you get three attempts to snatch, three attempts to clean and jerk, your best from each makes a combined total, and that's how the levels are decided. Do you think I'm going to struggle? What are your, just immediate first impressions, what are you saying? Am I going to be an absolute embarrassment to my profession? <laughs> Like generally, when, when you've, hesitated, you've already hesitated, I mean, that doesn't feel weird for me, to be honest. <laughs> when guys try weightlifting specifically, if they've already got a good gym training and strength basis, they struggle with more from an ego point of view. And it's because it's so technical, yeah. you have to do the lighter weights, like, you yeah. can't just slap the weight on and yeah. kind of hope for the best. Yeah. Like, it's so technical, so I think it's that yeah. probably what you'll struggle with most is yeah. the technique. Like, it's like, way more skill based, right? Yeah, and so many things. Kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On the side of the plus note, I've got squat shoes and knee sleeves, so... You look smart. Oh, yeah, no, I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's gonna be me, yeah. I was gonna wear leggings, but I thought, you know what, that's too much. Too fast. So that gives the impression I know what I'm doing, I'm really <laughs> done. That's it. What the hell? What do you want to help me? I'm about to rip my adductor off. From the legend, you're gonna do five, like, half muscles, actually. You're just gonna pull it up overhead. Get your shoulders warm. Five overhead squats, so up there and relax your arms, so just let the bar yeah. sit like where it wants to sit. Like don't worry about like being tense, just keep it loose. Five overhead squats. It's really interesting. Do you know what? I don't even jump and stop right now. Move your feet a little bit wider. Make space for yourself a bit, that's it. Now go. So don't push it so far so you're pushing it so hard because you feel like you need to be tight, yeah. it's like right back here. You want it above the crown of your head, so the bar's yeah, kind of yeah. just that's it. Yeah, just make sure you can there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Goodness! Shoulder mobility is so bad. These are 40 kilogram plates, by the way. <laughs> Just putting out there. Really nice. It's awesome. I'm using my hips at all. So I help him. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. Let's load up. Come on, man. Let's get some. <laughs> We're going to do a full okay. snatch first. Okay. So, you're going to do the same thing. Yeah. All of this is exactly the same. As you get to here, rather than keeping coming from under your toes, you're going to do the snatch balance. Drop underneath. <laughs> I don't think I ever got up like, no. like these came in instead. So rather than that the hips to bar, you went and brought the bar into your hips. Mm. And you just went and dropped from there. <laughs> what am I doing, man? It's nice. I know you can get in your spot position because you did it earlier with the sack balance. Yeah. I feel like getting into a full squat is like that's like a token gesture. Like I, I'm just doing it just to, to do it rather than to, as a necessity. Yes. Hola. Oh, just absolutely slam my head to the bottom, mate. That's why you got the white grip. 
because like I think you've already got little ones, but you won't be having any more if you've got too narrow of a grip. It just. Okay. I've got proper like shoes. That is, I've obviously just hit a nerve there because I can literally feel a whole line of that. Just hit some like. I was a bit slower, so I had like, maybe I was rocking it. Keep getting a mad blood rush every time I snap it. Okay, uh, Sarah just said I've got the best snatches ever. So we're going to now work up to a max single, which was Sarah's idea. She said, completely 100% safe, go for a max single, nothing bad can happen. So. That would be a no lift because you pressed it out. Yeah. So you've got to try and just get straight to that lock. You have to lock, yeah, okay. Let's quit this get prediction now. How heavy do you think I'll be able to lift go? I reckon 80 might be the breaking point. 80? Mm. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> guess it. That is heavy, okay. <laughs> but I can no longer do it with this form because it doesn't work anymore, does it? You can't just, you can't like cheat it out. No. <laughs> Did I even go into a squat there? No. It was like a very straight leg power snatch. Okay. Just trying to get some short term shoulder mobility. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get the ball back here. I'm going to put some shorts. Do you let go now? I'm falling over. So these guys said I was going to cap for 80 kilograms. So if I get 85 now, then... That was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Try and think about doing the movement, how it looks when I do it. Like, just think about the movement and what you know it should look like, and just let your body recreate that. If you try and overthink it, it'll all go wrong. I feared for your life for a second, but it was actually a better lift. Okay, that was like, I feel like I put it behind my head, but I don't know if I meant to do that, and I was like, this is really scary. And my shoulders. I was waiting for like his dad. He's like, drop it, drop it, drop it. There was a point where I thought I was just going to dislocate both my shoulders there. Yeah, I feared for your life. <laughs> okay, uh, I felt like I was close to losing my arms there, like a full shoulder dislocation. But luckily, yeah, they're still there. Um, I just watched the video back. I literally, I had it like. The bar was where it should be, but because I'm so mobile, I literally had to do this to like allow it to happen. Also, notice that literally <laughs> my squat was like wider than the platform. Basically, this is absolutely terrible, but that counts, right? In a way. I'll allow. Yes. So I was 85 wrong, kilos. So. Okay, so now we're going to clean and jerk. Yeah. Slow to the knee. There you come. Do a full clean. Up. I always do a split jerk as well. So then from there. That's a long one. It's out of there. Solid base, then recover. Because if you're trying to, with a heavy weight, I'm just going to 
I also keep coming down, I feel like that's like killing hey. my back, I'm having to like hold it, I'm not used to doing that. I'm getting a bit tired now, really. <laughs> One fifteen to one twenty. I'll say tapping out at one twenty. Right. To be fair, the way you moved a hundred, I think you'll move ten, so I might have to go for fifteen. Jerk started to feel that, so that's the first so one. With the thing with the jerk is you try to use your arms, like it's still a leg movement. That dip and drive is all leg power, like, and as soon as it was here, your panic was heavy. I could see the tension in your arms, my yeah. biceps were popping, but like, that's not all one way to feel like you want to just let it rest, drive up, and it's a leg drive makes the bar fly, and then you're just snapping out that last bit. That's the first time when, like, I was so weird, just getting yeah. more and more fatigued. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that jerk felt way. I feel like I, yeah, I feel like I had it, but it felt super heavy, yeah. basically. You made it feel heavy by being tired. So what do I say again? So I do drop on. So you were just yeah. So like when the bar's on your shoulders, your arms should be loose, and then yeah. So what? But you took the tension. So you want here, arms loose, just resting across your shoulders, and they stay loose the whole way through. That dip and drive is what makes the bar fly, and the arms just literally do that back. That was yeah. So that was the tension shoulders. 115 kilograms. Yeah, this this is the first point where I'm feeling a little bit scared to be honest. That's just a lie, I felt a bit scared when I was in the clean two position there. I, I, I'll say, I'll, I'll say no one stand behind me for this lift. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I can just feel when I'm there, I can just feel it as if I'm just like slowly getting in like a worse, worse and worse position. I'll try it one more time. I, I think I like, I half failed it, but I half spotted it as well. I don't know. It's quite scary. I'm quite scared about lifting. I'm scared to put where I'm scared about having that weight above my head. <laughs> well, I could have pressed it, but then that's just massive cheat, isn't it? Oh, so annoying. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think, I think, I think I'm, you're done. I'm, not, I'm still alive. I feel like I should pull the trick while I'm ahead. Yeah. Like the, the I said 110 at the start, though. Oh, that's why you want me to stop. <laughs> no, right no. I think I'm going to get more and more time. Yeah. Sarah, thank you so much. I massively appreciate you right. hooking me up. Give me some like thoughts. What are you saying? I say you did pretty well considering. Like I was concerned at the start about like, how we get on, but like 85 on 10 is pretty decent numbers. So. What be like? What are like my? What are, like good? Lots of like give me some like good things, some strengths and some like things on like, areas of weakness. Biggest weakness and biggest like strengths. Like the biggest thing is working. Well, it's not using your arms. You just want to override it with arm power, yeah. and that's what's kind of throwing you off a little bit. Like, the good thing is you can get in the bottom of a squat. I know you don't like going down there, but you have the mobility to let you can squat to death. Yeah. Like, Combining that with yeah. the thing. So, getting that together. Yeah, I feel like I feel like if I dedicate if I like practice, if I dedicate some time to like learning skills, yeah. I reckon I'd be alright. Like, yeah. I think I, I reckon I think I thought I was doing better than I was to be honest. That was pretty humbling because it's just, oh, yeah. just ridiculous. I felt so I felt so I don't know. Obviously, especially with the snatch, in terms of just generally speaking, it's obviously for, for me it's a very small weight, but like it felt so heavy, like it's mad. Oh, yeah. so that, that, yeah. That's one for your ego. Literally, it really is. Like yeah. someone, and that's the thing is that, especially if I go and train in a non weightlifting gym, like people see you do stuff and they're like looking and then they, like, they see 
people try and do it themselves and they just don't even know where to start. Like, fuck it, I just pick it up. But like, to get all those technical movements right. That's awesome, I really appreciate it, Marshall. Okay, we're done, that's the video over guys. I hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed it, give a thumbs up. Any suggestions for similar future content, let me know in the comment section. If you want to do the channel, please subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.